What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John from the Game Video here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Um, I'm having a fantastic day nonetheless, as we're going to jump right into a team recap because there's a little bit of something different, as you guys can see on the layout right now. The last episode was a little rough, um, to say the least, and I don't know how I want to feel about that. So. We have trained our team up to level 42 because everybody's going to be level 38 in the area. We got Dottie, the Machamp with Sacred Sword, Liquidation, Brick Break, and Cotton Guard with Sap Super Ability. We got Sandy with Weak Armor Ability, Liquidation, Headbutt, Moonblast, Dragon Claw. We have Nick with Photon Geyser, Beast Boost Ability, Moon Guys Beam, Earth Power, and Volt Switch, holding the Eevee Light. We have Fitta, level 42, with Dazzling Gleam, Discharge, Moonblast, and Waterfall. We have Drake, level 42, with Sparkling Aria, Yawn, Psychic, or... And Dragon Dance. And we got our new Mon to the squad. We have Unqiu, the Decidueye with Discharge, Cotton Guard, Shadow Ball, and Giga Drain. So, obviously last episode, if you guys didn't see, we had our first death in a while. So hopefully Unqiu can kind of help us out. And I wanted to play that kind of same utilize that same role that Papa did. Although I don't know if anything can really play the same role Papa did, because Papa did such a good job in his role. And Daddy is now the uh, oldest member of the team. Uh, <clears throat> Daddy showing his real age, and it's hilarious because like I think the episode or it was wasn't it? No, it was two episodes before. I was like, it's kind of funny that you know both of the mods named after Dad or that mean Dad are alive and uh what happens to <laughs> daddy dies because why not um so episode okay we got since it's episode 26 let's get or this is not episode 26 it's 27 but it's close enough we still didn't do the math correctly see john just can't do math and that's okay it's okay that we can't do math not everybody can do math um but how is everybody's day going it is a lovely tuesday um which it means that I'm three days away from returning to work, which is kind of like crazy to think about that I'm going to be returning to work here soon, but it's good at least nonetheless. Oh, it's this thing. You get more prize money if you battle trainers right now. And it's like, I don't, again, uh, stuff when you're, for, I don't want to use Roto Lotto, so when I'm forced to use it, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, it's kind of like, I don't really want to go, but I also know I have to. <laughs> That's the real feel. Like it's like I, going to work just gonna suck in general, and it just it is what it is. So again, nothing to complain about it, but it's like I try and like kind of put two and together and be like, well, this is what's going on right now, and it's kind of what is gonna go on there's really nothing that i can do to change that unless i gave up my income which i can't do now when i like am able to support myself and other methods then yeah of course like i could look for different jobs but i like and i've been doing that because i don't really know what i want to do but the issue is as I don't know if any other job is better. I just I want to find something that I'm motivated in, and you might I might have just lost a one. Uh, okay, not even a crit with killed. Okay, but like I need to find something I have motivational drive in. Why? Are, like we literally just fought Guzma, and he's level 39. And these, I mean, I guess because I have access to this earlier. It's the next route that they're gonna be level like 38 and stuff. But yeah, it's it's an interesting situation, and I don't. Don't really know what I'm going to do with it. But, again, who knows what can transpire on Tuesday. Like, because mind you, I am bulk recording this episode, so. Sorry, I had to drink some water. I'm bulk recording. So, for me, it is currently Friday the 10th. Um, and I know I'm breaking the fourth wall, but, like, yeah, I get that that's four days, and, like, not much is going to change in four days. But, like, things, there is things that can change in four days. Like, that's kind of the situation in which we're living in right now. Ah, it's Orion! Um, but that is kind of the situation that we're living in right now. Is anything can change at any moment. It's just when is it going to change, and how is it going to change. 
um, is kind of the things that you got to think about that I've been thinking about because anything can happen and I don't mind the fact that anything can happen it's just it's just scary that that is the case I guess because I don't like when I don't know I need knowledge of what's going on and if I don't have knowledge I freak out Wow, Kurt would have killed. There we go. Sorry, I had to drink water because my, my throat hurts. It really shouldn't. Which is not a good thing. Uh, I have failed you. No, you have not. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even know he gave you a TM. That is how much, no, how unknowledgeable I am in this game. It's like, it's, oh, it's normally payback. Okay, well, weird. Okay, you must normally carry payback, and I just didn't know that until literally just now. Um, that's weird that that's the case, but it is the case, I guess. Um, Haunter would have been a great mon to have. That evolves, that, I would have had a Gengar then, because it evolves if you had trade. Oh, I'm going to turn on my fan because it is hot it is ridiculously hot in here and it really it makes sense I guess because like it's just it's more like musty and that's the biggest issue like I'm back to the musty room it's the best <laughs> it definitely is weird being back in the musty room but we take it earthquake can only be learned by Ladias. that's how it be it dabba dabba do be like that sometimes. Um, I don't even know where that came from, but it came from somewhere. Um, it was in the depths of my brain, some some way, shape, or form. It was there. Um, but again, we got some encounters to get to today, so at least that's something. Jeez, I've got so many zits, it's actually paining me. Like, it's annoying the crap out of me. Because, like, you guys can't really see them because I'm way too far away, which is nice and all, but, like... I just wish, like, like, because if I could talk about my zits and, like, complain about them stuff, like, I don't know. But there's way too many. Route 12, you can catch Pokemon here. Yeah, I can. Did you know that I can catch one Pokemon every route? I didn't know that until just now, apparently. No, I'm joking. Like, I've, I've known that from the start, but. Like, oh my gosh, like, really? Route was like, guess what? You can catch Pokemon here. It's like, what? I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know I could catch Pokemon. The Pokemans can be caught here. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I know it's Pokemon. People were like, I, I, that actually can bode right into a funny conversation. So, like, my hoo hoo video is starting to slow down at this point, which is fine by me. Like, that hoo hoo video can slow down if it wants to. It's already generated enough craziness. Um,. But, I look at it, and it was kind of funny to me, because people were arguing about grammar in the comment section, and I won, I wasn't, for someone who wasn't expecting a grammar argument in the comment section, it was like, is this really happening right now? And then the second thing, it was they were talking about Pokemons, because it's, I, they said uh, something about Pokemons, and it was funny to me, because it was like, well, I already knew what they were talking about. So, because it was pretty obvious that it was Pokemon um, and not Pokemons. Um, hey, it's Maybug. Okay. But it's just kind of, it was a funny situation. Just because, again, when you're not expecting people to correct other people's grammar in your own comment section, it's hilarious. Because that's why I didn't make a note of it or make any, I like just commented like normal. I just autocorrect because I autocorrect your y'all's comments um it's a bad thing but I do I autocorrect it in my head and then move on and then respond so that's that's what goes on so that's why I treat everybody normally and like there's nothing different um especially if I have good sleep there's only one word that triggers me if it's spelled incorrectly and it's the word does like that is literally the only word if it's spelled incorrectly like simple words if a simple word is spelled incorrectly I'm like Bruh. Um, speaking of, this is Maybug. May. 
bug. So like, that's literally the only word that I'm spelling correctly. It like makes me cringe. It's like easy words. It's got Scald, Hydro Pump, Magnitude, and Fire Punch holding a pearl. So, well, I mean, Maybug deserves all the pearls in the world. Let's be fair. Like, Maybug deserves the pearls. Um, especially the uh, Mother of Pearls. Like, I feel like Maybug could definitely pull a Mother of Pearl off. Um, oh, this double battle is going to suck. Um, who do we even have in the lead? So what I want to do, actually, what sounds like a, a plan. Is. So wish. This is this button. And then unque you. Because unque you's got, like, great special. Like, is, is a good Pokemon and deserves to be used way more than I'm using it at the moment. But, uh, with especially with two level 38 Pokemon, you never know what to expect. So, I'd rather get, like, my Fairy and my Grass Ghost type in there. Grass Ghost is a, actually an interesting type ring that can, that can bite me in the butt, but it also could do really well. Um, we've got a Charmeleon and a Dino. Oh, the Dino is shiny. And I feel bad for killing it, but I'm going to have to kill it. Um... So the Dino is going to be easy. The Actually, I can just Dazzling Gleam. And then I Discharge because that only hits the two, right? No, it hits all three. Ah, darn. Well, then I'll Shadow Ball the Charmeleon then. Like, because the Charmeleon used Flat... Oh my gosh, you just killed... He just killed himself if I hit. That's awesome. My special attack rose on a special attack... I mean, I guess this is technically my primarily a, like a physical. Oh, well, RNG just caused the pro plays to happen because now the Dino. Oh, the Dino still doesn't live. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Dino still doesn't live. It's okay. Um, if Flatter was the best move this Charmeleon had though to hit me, then. Then theoretically, I should be okay. I should not be taking this risk, but I'm doing it anyway, because why not? Yeah, I knew it. You attacked the wrong Mon with that. Okay. Plus two Shadow Ball coming your way. This, this should kill, right? Yeah, as I say, it's a plus two Shadow Ball from a freaking Decidueye. Uh, yeah, that was, that was to be expected. Okay, so we got... Not much. We're going to get to Tapu Village in today's episode, and that's it. Um, I say that's it. Like, it's not that very far, but that is still a ton of progress to be made in a singular episode. Like, because that includes the Blush Mountain encounter that I want to get as well. Uh, that is a required battle. Darn. Um, yeah, because I get the Blush Mountain encounter and then go, and we're there. Like, Short episode, it looks like. Well, no, not really, because it depends on how long that encounter goes and, like, how long this goes. It's still going to be about a 21 minute episode. They just feel super fast. It's weird. It's weird how fast. Oh, another shiny. Back to back. Let's go. Um, it's just weird how fast, like, things are happening. Um, also, it's super effective. It's not super effective. It's just. This is not very effective, right? No. Is this the other way around, or are they both neutral to each other? I don't understand fairy types yet. I should, but fairy types are my weakness here. Like, I need to know fairy types a lot more than I do. Um, Aromatisse is not even a bad Pokemon, though. Like, Jonas used it, and he actually really liked the Pokemon. So, definitely a good thing to have that Pokemon. Like, my Pokemon is not even bad. My squad is very good. Mankey. I'm going to actually swap into Drake and let Drake get a kill here. Because if Drake can just Psychic it to death, we can actually finally kind of see the power of Drake. Like, I want to start utilizing my Mons a little more. Because I've, I've noticed I utilize Daddy, like, the entire playthrough. And that's the only Mon I use. Because um, I don't use Drake for what Drake's intended purpose is. Because Drake doesn't have Beast Boost. <laughs> Like, that's... I, I, at least I'm giving you the actual honest 
reason and not being like, well, I, I'm not using the Latias because blank. Like, I'm going to give you the honest truth. Um, apparently, I had a repel. That, that I don't remember having. Um, but I guess I did. Okay, Blush Mountain. Our encounter is a... Minin. We definitely didn't have this before, did we? We did not. I, I I called that as soon as I saw the Minin pop up. I'm like, we definitely haven't had this Pokemon. Um, what? Oh, I guess electric resists itself, so this charge actually wouldn't even be bad. Um, and Cotton Guard would be good to, like, tank hits. Wow. Okay, Minin. Why not just Spectral 3 for no absolute... No reason at all. Um, Magnet Rise? I mean, I don't even know. Giga Drain might kill, because I'm so many levels ahead, I probably shouldn't have clicked that stab move. Oh, no, we're fine. We're good. Okay. And Minin should be caught. And an Ultra Ball. I don't see why it wouldn't. Boop. 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 Yeah, okay, that's what I figured. I figured it's a Minin. It's not even that hard to catch. And... Yeah, we get the experience. Fitta gets experience. Everybody else gets experience. I think Nick might have to evolve, unfortunately. Uh, mine and you want a nickname. We're going to nickname you. Halo Top. Well, I just got a casual look at the title of episode 25. Uh, okay, the summary. We have Gale Wings with the Lychee Berry. With absolutely terrible moveset. You're going to the box to never, ever be used, ever. Good job. You you successfully made yourself pointless. Um, am I not surprised? Sadly, I'm totally not surprised that a mine is unusable. Because, I mean, it's literally a Minin. Like, if Minin somehow became usable, I would I would freak. I'd be like, oh, look, Minin's usable, guys. And it's like, for once in its life. I think, okay, what would make a Minin usable, though? Like, that's actually a tr actually a good question. Like, what ability would make a Minin usable? Like, my brain goes, there's only two. Levitate and Wonder Guard. Because, or, um... Yeah, no, levitate, we'll levitate, and uh, I guess speed boost would make it kind of viable, but it's already fast in and of itself. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there's only two abilities to make that thing viable, unfortunately, and that's kind of this unfortunate reality of a lot of the Pokemon um, that are basic only one stage, uh, like Toro, okay, so like that. Although Tauros does have a lot of things that could make it viable. And, like, some normal types do have that advantage of being viable very easily. But most... Most do not have that luck, so... But, yeah, I honestly would say we're in a good spot. Let's go ahead and get the Tapu Village encounter and wrap this thing up after the Tapu Village encounter. Like, this was a very quick episode. It just doesn't feel like a, a feature full-length episode, but, I mean, it, it will be by the end of this, but, like, it just doesn't feel that way. It, it feels really quick. Um, like, it's kind of ridiculous how quick it feels. Um... Part of it probably is that I'm used to month log where I have to sit here for like 12 hours. But yeah, like 
I don't know. It just doesn't feel... It doesn't feel like Pokemon. And it's weird. Like, it's definitely weird for that reason. Um, yeah, because you don't fight us. Um, yeah. Oh, they're going to talk. We actually might get... Ah, uh, no. No, let's get it now. I said we were going to get the encounter. Let's get it now. It's going to be quick and easy anyway, hopefully. Hopefully, it's not like a massive, important Pokemon that makes me spend 20 minutes on it. Um... I guess, like, mm. a Molga. We already got that, didn't we? I swear that's a Pokemon we already have. It is. It's it's Doopities. Doopity doopsa doopsity day. Let's not kill this Pokemon. But yeah, like, I, I at least I called that it was dupes. Like, that just means I'm paying attention. Yay! Uh, Sean's paying attention. Although, um, we don't have any fast Pokemon, which is... And now, now we really don't. Um, wow. We're just straight up not going to be able to get away from this thing, are we, now that we're paralyzed? There we go. Um, yeah, who do we put in the front? Who's fastest? I feel like Aromatis might actually be the fastest Mon that we have. Um, no, Drake's gotta be the fastest. 37, 72, 73, 103. Yeah, Drake is definitely the fastest Mon that we've got on the team. It won't let us move the Pokeball, will it? That's dumb. I feel like that, that you should be able to move the Mons from the screen. Like this. They implemented it there. Why don't you just put it on the Pokeballs? Uh, but yeah, if Drake's the fastest, we can get another one because that was dupes. Um, Inkay. Why, why do I feel like that's also dupes? No, it's not, but it's Gen 6. So, beautiful. But I don't know how to evolve this thing. <laughs> like, how does this thing evolve? You have to turn your DS upside down. and I, I, I know it's just jank. So I don't know how we're going to evolve this thing, but a good dark psychic. Oh, it's psychic. Uh, that's another thing that would be weak to bug if I ended up getting on the team. What? Ah, oh, it's got a terrible moveset. Lack of a good moveset. Surprise, surprise, surprise. It's a psychic type. Why am I even thinking otherwise? But... There we go. Yeah, why didn't it do that the first time? It, like, broke out immediately, and I was like, uh, well, you're an Inke. You're supposed to be caught like that, so you should, that's weird that you weren't. Um, but yeah, this is a great place to end off today's episode. We're gonna name this thing, uh, Trixie. Um, Trixie the Inke. That actually sounds like a fantastic name. So, um, we can go ahead and, we don't even have to check out Trixie's abilities and stuff, because Trixie's about to, gonna evolve anyway. Um... But yeah, Trixie. Trixie, the Ink. Wanna send you straight to the box. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.